Well, we got some good blood, it looks like. Looking at the shot, I don't think he's very far, but right there, Ryan, big blood there. He went up here on this trail. So he's up that hill right there. Ryan, look right in front of you, on the ground. Oh my gosh. Oh my lamp. Today's episode, you're going to see um, a little bit of history, I guess, on how Ryan and I got started doing this. We grew up hunting blacktails not far from where we live, and uh, a pretty popular place for everyone in our hometown to hunt. What's funny is it doesn't matter how many hunts we do, where we go, uh, the amount of cool things that we get to see, we always find ourselves coming back to this place. And it's... It's not the greatest hunting in the world by any means, but it's home. It's comfortable. It's uh, it's fun. I, you know, some of my fondest memories are simply riding around in the pickup with my dad, listening to the Seahawks game, looking for deer. Um, I just remember it not really being about getting one. It was about spending time here uh, in my home, home woods, I guess you could say. And so today you're going to see two hunts, a uh, deer that I took and then a deer that Ryan took as well. Two really fun hunts, two hunts that were very similar with uh, not much activity until it all happens at one time. Hope you enjoy this and uh, this one's really special to us. It's just an episode that means a lot to us where this whole thing started, where, um, you know, we kind of cut our teeth on hunting blacktails in logging country where uh, we picked up our glassing skills doing that. And uh, just a lot of fun to go back and be back home and hunt things that are familiar to you. And uh, it's something that I try to do as much as I can every year because um, it's really important to me and very special to come up here and spend this time. There's nothing that makes me happier. So if you could and you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. Um, we're trying to pump out some more content to you guys. We've got a lot of stuff in the works and uh, we're going to start getting a lot of videos out so uh, just subscribe if you want to see what we've been up to this is just our story and anybody willing to listen and view is uh, important to us so thanks again
Shoot again. Hopefully it keeps rolling down the hill. Hopefully it keeps rolling down the hill. What did I tell you this morning when you wanted to sleep in? Hey, you're the one who slept in the truck there, buddy. Day two of modern deer season here in Washington State. And uh, yesterday we passed up three spikes. And this is a unit where it's uh, uh, any buck, but you know we didn't want to shoot a spike. I was trying to get anything with two points. We picked the spot this morning, checked it this morning, nothing there. We moved down here, and we're coming back this way down the road. When we've already passed this buck, we'd already came completely past him. We're moving back down this road, and I spotted him up there, and I thought for sure, I mean that's that's got to be a buck, and uh, uh, we couldn't tell, couldn't tell. He's facing right at us, and. He wanted to make completely sure, and we got the spotting scope out, and he stood there long enough. My first shot, I must, I'm, I felt good about the first shot. I must have just went over or under him or something, but second shot smoked him. He's down right there, so one kill on film. Yeah. All right, let's plan. Well, I think it's gonna be pretty easy to find. Not very far up there, I don't think. Hopefully, we get up there, and he's. All the way down at the bottom. That way we don't have to drag him very far. We got our wilderness pack so I could throw the whole thing on my back at one time, but I'd prefer not to if I don't have to. I kept the wonder bread in my truck in my bag. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon now, and uh, we got that buck off the hill, and we're headed to my grandpa's house uh, to show him. I don't think he knows that we got a deer yet, but uh, pretty pretty neat to be able to go um, show it to him because you know he doesn't get out to hunt much anymore. But he's the reason ZG Outdoors is really created. Uh, he taught my uncle John and my dad Steve uh, the ways of the woods. And then uh, in return, they taught me the same thing. When we have some success, 
and um, we're not out of state. I like to take the deer over here and um, hang it in his shop and let him see it because uh, that's something that he misses that he doesn't get, up, get to get out and do anymore. He's getting older with age and you never know um, how many more times you're going to get to do something like this. So this is really special to me. Um, we're really excited to uh, show him this buck and uh, get to spend this special time with him. So that's what it's all about to me is, is getting an animal isn't, isn't the most important part of the hunt. It's everything that goes with it, the camaraderie, um, the fun that we had this weekend, um, getting away from you know the stress of work and all that kinds of stuff. Uh, the relationships you can build through hunting um, are something that can't be duplicated so we're about ready to pull up to his house right now so we'll see see what his reaction is he'll probably tell me it's too small hey. got something to show you oh, Well, it's, I don't even know what day it is. I've been hunting for like two months, so I'm kind of lost at what day it is, but I know it's late buck in Washington. Yesterday we were in Idaho. We bombed back home to Washington because we couldn't get Idaho tags because they sold out. Our mistake, but we're trying to take advantage of it. We came back to Washington to hunt late buck for the first time in five or six years. We haven't been able to hunt it, so, because we're always in Idaho, but we're in here, we are uh, just saw a first deer. One of the best ways we like to hunt this time of year is to cover a lot of ground. They should be, some of the bucks are still rutting, should be uh, moving around quite a bit. There's a huge nasty storm coming in tomorrow, so there should be a lot of deer movement today. So we're gonna get out in the clear cuts and stuff and, and uh, do some glassing and see if we can't find a buck. Two points going down, anything with a fork, right? I'm shooting anything with a fork. Just hold on its shoulder and shoot it. Nice shot. <laughs> shoot it again. You got him. Hey, you got him. <laughs> you got him, dude. Dude. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Lord, man. What a freaking day. That is a, that's the only what a freaking day. That is the only deer we've seen all day. And we got it on film. That's awesome. I cannot freaking believe that. Yes. What a day. That's why you stay after it. Oh my gosh. It was a rough morning this morning. Kyle was giving me crap because I wanted to stop and get some coffee. <laughs> and uh, on our way up, saw a nice decent buck go running across the road. Just been kind of a slow day all today. Ended up going up in the snow today, finding bear tracks and a bunch of other deer tracks and just kind of started to get a little bit of down and you know try to stay positive throughout the whole day come around the corner and sure enough he was just sitting there like we were hoping was able to get a shot off and I'm ready to go find it well it's uh it's been a few minutes 
been a few minutes now. Uh, we reviewed the shot. It was kind of hectic there. We took a look at the footage and uh, as you can see when he shot, he drilled him pretty good so that buck shouldn't be very far. So we're going to go see if we can find some blood and follow him up in here. It is so windy. We've been, we've been talking about today because yesterday was a terrible day. And we've been waiting on this weather. The blacktails, when the weather comes in, for some reason we do good. And the wind came in. It's just starting to sprinkle a little bit. And we actually made a joke saying, oh, look for the bucks. They should be out now. And we literally came around the corner and there's a buck there. So <laughs> I can't even believe it. Awesome. Let's go get it. Let's go find him. Okay, let's see if we can find where he was at. No, we'll just drag him down and get him out here. See if we can find where he was at. Does that look like a track? Huh? A track there, maybe? Okay. Um, well, let's look at the. Where at? Yeah, I'm not sure how far down he was. I would have thought he was blood. Well, we got to figure out where he was standing first. Oh, there's a track. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at blood. Look. Blood. Blood. Following up to where he went. Is there blood? You got blood? blood? Figure out where he went up. Blood. Look on these trees. Well, we got some good blood, it looks like. Looking at the shot, I don't think he's very far, but right there, Ryan. Blood. Big blood there. He went up here on this trail. Blood. Blood. So he's up that hill right there. Where at? Maybe. Oh yeah. Good blood. Keep Good following. Blood. We got a shell jacked. Yeah. Ryan, look right in front of you. On the ground. Oh my gosh. Oh my Lanta. Ryan. Ryan. There we go guys. Dandy! <laughs> That's a nice fly tail! Dude! That's awesome! Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's a cool looking deer. Starting to fork out over here. He's all rutted up, I can smell him from here. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what to say! That's awesome! Oh, Holy smokes, dude! Nice job, right here. That's awesome, man. <laughs> Ryan and I, to give you a little info on what this season's been like for us. So, we hunted a few days early season, and uh, uh, it was real sunny, crappy weather for blacktails. And uh, so we were all excited for our Idaho whitetail hunts. We go to Idaho, and we find out that the tags are sold out. So we don't have tags. We film for a while. Nobody kills a buck in Idaho. It's really tough. And so we come back. Actually, we left Idaho early and came back and uh, decided that we were going to try really hard to try to get a blacktail during the late buck hunt. We came up here yesterday and we saw two deer. Uh, not much. Was it two? Yeah, I think two deer. And we thought, you know what? We're just going to keep after it. Tomorrow the weather's supposed to come in. It should be should be better hunting and so we came back in and uh, actually right at at the area that we come in at a buck crossed through the headlights and a pretty nice buck but uh, uh, you know obviously way before daylight so we came up and we kept hunting this is the first this is the only deer we've seen during the daytime during the day. and we were just kind of working our way through this timber down the road and he was standing in the road and I I put my binoculars on him and I said it's a buck it's a buck and so Ryan got ready to shoot. I told him he could be first shooter. And, uh, and uh, I said, make sure it's a buck. 
because I thought it was a buck, but I said, make sure it's a buck. He said he couldn't tell. So I put my binoculars back up and I just told him to shoot it because I seen the antlers on it and I knew that there should, can't be any messing around. Luckily, he's all rutted up, he was stupid and stayed there long enough. But now we've got a nice black tail. That's awesome. That's, <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah.